My name is Jim Armitage, consultant urologist at Addenbrooke's Hospital. I'm very grateful to the BJUI for giving us this opportunity to record a video to accompany our study entitled Percutaneous Nephrolithotomy in England, Practice and Outcomes Described in the Hospital Episode Statistics Database. There is an increasing need for surgeons to provide accurate information on the outcomes of the surgery which they undertake. It is only reasonable for patients to be assured that their surgeon is providing safe and effective care. This information may be derived from local or national audits and surgeons must contribute to this to fulfil the requirements for appraisal and revalidation in the UK. Alternatively, administrative data sources such as the Hospital Episode Statistics Database which records details of all NHS hospital admissions in England, may be used to evaluate performance. Naturally, this will lead to benchmarking and comparisons of healthcare providers and individual surgeons. In turn, this leads to questions about how to address the issues of poor, poor performance and statistical outliers. It is therefore absolutely crucial that data used for these purposes are complete, accurate and adjusted for differences in case mix. This study used hospital episode statistics data to evaluate practice and outcomes for percutaneous nephrolithotomy in England. We extracted records from the hospital episode statistics database for all patients who had percutaneous nephrolithotomy in a five year period between 2006 and 2011. A unique identifier allowed us to follow patients indefinitely through different hospital admissions. The main outcome measures were haemorrhage, infection and rates of emergency readmission and in-hospital mortality within 30 days of surgery. An analysis of 5,750 percutaneous nephrolithotomy procedures showed the median length of stay was four days. Length of stay reduced over the study period in part because of increased use of day of surgery hospital admission. Haemorrhage was recorded in 1.4%. 3.3% had urinary tract infection, 1.7% fever, and in 0.7% sepsis was recorded. There were 595 emergency hospital readmissions in 518 patients within 30 days of surgery. Put another way, almost 1 in 10 patients had an unplanned hospital readmission. As expected, in-hospital mortality within 30 days of surgery was rare only 0.2%. John Withington, one of my co-authors, is now going to discuss the methodological limitations as well as the clinical and research implications of this study. My name is John Withington and I'm a clinical research fellow at Guy's and St Thomas's Hospitals and the Royal College of Surgeons Clinical Effectiveness Unit. The Hospital Episode Statistics Database provides the largest contemporary data set for studying PCNL outcomes and it presents exciting research and clinical implications. The present study demonstrates both the strengths and the limitations of HES data in studying surgical outcomes. The accuracy and completeness of HES data are only as good as the clinical coding from which they're derived. This has led some to question the validity of any conclusions based on their use. Certainly, the potential for underreporting of complications represents a significant concern. For example, the rate of infection reported in the present study appears lower than that reported in another large contemporary cohort. This may relate to varying interpretation or underutilization of relevant codes rather than a true difference in outcomes. Conversely, the rate of emergency readmission reported in the present study is substantially higher compared with other studies, but this may represent a strength of HES data in capturing all readmissions. Fundamentally, it is essential that administrative data are interpreted with an understanding of the potential limitations of coding accuracy in mind. However, there is in fact growing evidence that the accuracy and completeness of such data support their use in clinical research and audit. 
A further limitation of this and other studies that utilise administrative data is that certain key information is not captured. For instance, HES data do not record stone complexity or stone free rates, both of which are essential for investigating the effectiveness of PCNL. In order to secure confidence in administrative data while enriching them with additional clinically relevant information, we advocate linkage with registry data. As Dr. Roger Sir notes in this month's BJUI, administrative data offer a unique perspective on practice and outcomes and, potentially, a powerful tool for revalidation and the reporting of surgeon-level outcome data. Linkage with registry data could fulfil this potential, providing researchers, surgeons and, most importantly, patients with complete, accurate and robust information about the safety and effectiveness of this and other surgical procedures.